What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy Kevin. I never care. Chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, guys. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys part one of my series to tell you guys the best legendaries in the Taken King, the best ones to have, why you should have them, the abilities that offer you the perk of them being called the best. Now, right now, I'm using an answering accord. But you can actually pick this auto rifle once you do one of those Vanguard missions. They give you um, they give you a choice between the pistol, the auto rifle, and the scout rifle. I got all three. All right, now an answering accord comes with a strong range stat of 54. Good, that that's an amazing for auto rifle, and the auto rifle just feels so smooth when you fire it as well. Now you have feather mag, which will reduce the magazine size for faster reloads, but paired with the feeding frenzy, reloading will happen faster than you could blink. Now injection mode offers some stability in lieu of range, but snapshot is also a strong perk for crucible play. Now, seriously guys, the main thing I love about this is the bonus SRO41 scope. It highlights guardians with charged supers and powerful means of the darkness. Now, it highlights those witches that continually spawn those little thralls. So, in the midst of everything, you will still be able to see your highlighted target. Plus, the impact stability on it just makes it go so good from medium to long range combat. Now, guys. We're going to get into another fan favorite. Well, personally, my favorite. I love this sniper. 1,000 yard stare. Now, it kind of looks like that one Lego piece that got like something missing, but you couldn't find it anymore. Yeah, just right there area. But anyway, no jokes aside, this is an amazing sniper rifle, and I love sniper rifles. Now, this set of perks makes the heavy impact a very serious boss killer. Triple Tap returns around to the magazine for rapidly landing precision shots, and Mulligan has been buffed since year one. Combined with perfect balance, this role makes sure you're going to offer a more than enough damage per second when fighting the King's Fall Raid bosses, War Priest, the um, Death Singers, you know, Orcs' daughters, and even that freaking Orc. Like, oh, I hate that Orc with a passion. Now, seriously though, I actually love this so much the sniper is just so smooth to have it looks cool and you can also double it with the weapon I just introduced in the first part of the video and it actually just wrecks in PvP and you can also have an amazing minimum to long distance which is great for mission that you are not too sure about the enemy abilities or you're not too sure about the enemy's actual number so you want to keep a distance just so you can regulate that these are the best weapons for that. And hey, if you're just a long distance fighter in general, this will be best. Thanks again for watching. It's been Cable Line Network here. Make sure to put in a comment what you think about this. I will be making more videos to show you guys all the best legendaries. But for right now, you're going to have to satisfy yourself with this. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And talk to you later.